Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. In today's little project, we're going to take this piece of aluminum. We're going to mount the 10 horsepower rated VFD somewhere in this proximity. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run one, two, three, maybe even four, three phase outlets off of this. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I have a 15 horse rotary phase converter. And with some of the bigger machines I got, like the drill press and the uh, lathe there, they pretty much max it out. And then when I get the big brown and sharp going, it has a seven and a half horse motor. So this is gonna be a power supply for some of the smaller machines when I'm using one of the bigger machines, because I'm actually having some people with my children. So sometimes there's two three-phase machines running in here at a time. And, you know, it's kind of maxed out when I'm running the lathe and stuff. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we'll feed this off of a 50-amp cord over there. So there'll be a cord coming into this. It's going to go down and feed these three or four outlets. Now, this will work. It's actually a very good option to power your shop, especially if you have a lot of smaller machines and you're only running one at a time, like in a, a small home shop and stuff like that. Because you can just throw on the VFD. Now, you're going to lose some of the customization. You know, you, you set your braking and stuff like that. I'm just going to set this up to run 60 hertz and I'll fiddle with the adjustments so it will be good for the outlets that are provided for the machines that will run off of it. I have a friend who has a full-time machine shop and he's been running a 15 horse VFD to, th to I think three outlets feeding three of his main machines and it's been like that for eight nine years and has zero issues. So I'm going to do a similar thing here Plus, when I run some of the smaller stuff, I don't want to run the 15 horsepower motor all the time. That's not energy efficient. My power bills are high enough. So, if I can run some of the stuff off this, and can kind of see what it does power-wise. So, this is the piece we're going to use. It's going to be mounted. Sorry about the glare. Between these two posts, and there's the outlet right there. I need to run to Home Depot, get some parts and a few more three phase outlets. We'll cut this off and probably cut some of this off. So we'll probably get one, two, three, maybe four. We'll see. That's the uh, cord to the microphone. So let me run to the hardware store and let's, uh, I'll bring you back and let's get to work on this. Okay, so I'm back, got some parts. So here's a better representation of what's going to be. Here's the VFD. It's going to feed into here. And there'll be wires running between all these. Spaced together with nuts and couplers and nipples and stuff. And there'll be one of these each of these there'll be a wire coming out of this to the wall outlet a wire coming down into here I think I'm just gonna put three what I was actually and I still might do is put a fourth one up here and paint it a different color and that'd be a reverse but I don't think I really need to do that a couple of my other three-phase drills you know, it'd just be, I can just swap a plug and I could have reverse the motor for drilling stuff out or anything like that. So, I'm going to cut all this stuff over here off. Leave enough room on the edges here to screw it to the two 2x4s two are going to hold this up. And yeah, first I'll assemble all this. And I'll bring you back when I have that. And then we'll drill. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm actually going to tap into this plate. There'll only be six holes. I don't want 
the, you know, the appearance of the nuts and stuff on the back. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't affect the functionality at all. It'd just be a little cleaner looking. So, okay, let me get these assembled and I'll bring you back. Okay, so what I'm basically gonna do, I have these two pipe nipples in between them. I think I wanna run these pretty close together. We'll start by running that down as far as it'll go. Same as on this side. Okay. Uh -huh. This is just mocking it up for now, so. I got some shorter ones if need be. Just like that. See how that looks. That'll be pretty good. Except for, as you can see, I punched a hole on the wrong side there. I need to flip this 180. Maybe I'll go above this one that way I could have a little more of a loop for the downstream cord it's not so tight it's actually not a bad idea flip this guy around it looks a little more I know that's supposed to be turned the other way so it bites in there this is this mocking up Yeah, I actually like that a little better. So instead of like this, I, was, I thought about putting an extension on this and coming out of here into it. This way I can just have a little or a whip into the side. So, pop Pull this guy out. And then I like to use these little protectors. So once I have this good to go, this thread, sorry about the glare. Battle thread over there. And that protect our wire. Okay, so let me get these all hooked together. Find holes punched out. I'll bring you back and we'll mark the holes for punching. Okay, we have this assembled. Got our little wire protectors there. Now, Spacing on this thing is totally up to us. So I'm gonna take a rule. This is a flat edge on this bottom. Put it against there and butt it against there. Uh, this edge is clean. This edge I'll, I'll trim up a bit. So I'm actually gonna move this a little more this way. go now I'm just gonna take a punch and the hammer Looking good. And I'll put one here. So those aren't showing up on camera. There are holes. So we'll take this over to the drill press and punch those in. Okay, I'm gonna drill the holes for the screws. Um, oh, some people asked, asked for longer videos, so 
I'm gonna show you guys more about every little step here. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna clamp it. It's gonna have it against there so it can't spin. It's really thin, it's aluminum. If you feel like clamping it, clamp it. You might Jed clamp it. You might Jethro clamp it. Or Ellie Mae clamp it. Just clamp it however you feel free. Let's get this on. One more on here somewhere. There it is. There it is. our five holes now let's proceed to the tapping okay we have them screwed into position let me zoom me out just a hair there um, I'm gonna take the screws back out because uh, I want it obviously you don't want any I have more work to do so I don't want any metal shavings in here and quarter 20 is well beyond overkill for only something to saw, especially because there's five of them in there. But that's what I had. And they'll make good place for hooking grounds to. Now they are just a hair proud. You see right there. When I'm doing all the grinding to fix this edge and everything, I'll knock everything flat. So yeah, very cool. So that's a bulk of it actually done. Uh, next time we'll put the VFD over here. It takes different size bolts and everything, so I need to actually go get some. And yeah, then we'll start wiring it. So yeah, very cool. Awesome progress. Okay, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.